Hey guys, it's Never here from Twitch TV. I've had a few people on stream asking me what mods I use and how, how, how to get them installed. So uh, I thought I'd do a quick guide on uh, how I do it and I hope you guys enjoy it. First what we need to do is get a fresh install of Minecraft. All these mods are for 1.1 so if uh, Minecraft's been updated to 1.2 you may need to roll back. For that I suggest using Minecraft Nostalgia. Just search Minecraft Nostalgia on Google. It'll come up with this link here. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just install it and patch back. Now, anyway. So we need to get a fresh install of Minecraft. What I do is suggest copying your original Minecraft folder in case everything go anything goes wrong, like I've done here. And once you've done that, you need to just go inside and delete everything. So get everything deleted like that. Load up Minecraft.exe because uh, we're getting a fresh install. And what it basically should do is just download all Minecraft files once again once you've signed in. Let me just sign in. Remember password. Log in. When this may not work, I may have to do it again because I've been having it. Oh, my phone's just gone off. I've been having a few issues with installing it, but it seems like it's working alright. Good, cool. Or not? No, it's got stuck. I'm gonna have to uh, do it again. Yeah, for some reason I've having I've been having a bit of trouble um, uh, getting a new Minecraft. It seems to stop downloading. So just bear with me. Yeah, just carry on. Come on, baby. There we go. Now I've got a fresh install of Minecraft in your .minecraft file. This should just be all the good stuff. All that good stuff. So what we want to do first is go to industrialcraft.wiki. Go and download now. Scroll up and it says set up here. For playing the following mods you need these. Um, Rugosami's mod loader, Flan's mod loader MP and Space Toad's Minecraft Forge. Also audio mod but um, I'll show you how to get that as well. So we click on mod loader. Just go, scroll down. Just download mod loader for 1.1. Easy as that. Get audio mod for 1.1 as well. Do the same for um, mod loader is it MP? Yeah, mod loader MP. Just get it here. Just bam. Just click, click that there. I oh, know it's one of these. Sorry. Download from Adfly or whatever. And finally, Space Toads Minecraft Forge, which has been moved. Just click on for Minecraft 1.1 and it moves you to Build Craft. And you just download it. Um, that one. That's the one you want. The 1.3 point. I think it's that one. 1.3.2.1. Yeah. 1.3.2.1 get that one there that's the one I've got I, don't, I haven't tested the other ones but that's just what I've got so if you want to get them installed just go with what I've got next you want to once you've got all them just go back to your minecraft folder find where you've got all them mods installed I'm just gonna go to where mine are they're in here uh, I'm just going to separate these and I start by installing audio mod so what we need to do is go into our dot bin uh, no dot bin not dot bin in our dot minecraft we need to go to our bin folder and this is how I do it other people have their different ways of doing it but this is how I do it um, so I go new folder and I call that edit I open the edit folder and I go audio mod back where I downloaded my mods to I just copy and paste it in um, mod loader and um, just mod loader not mod loader next copy and paste that in then mod loader mp then finally you want to install your minecraft forge control a control c control v in yes to everything like um, do this for the next two conflicts copy and replace um, back out now that we've got that form and what we need to do is create another folder called Minecraft. And that's where we're going to extract our Minecraft.jar to our Minecraft folder. So we open that up with 7-zip. Select it all. Extract to in the bin folder Minecraft. Extract that. Cross 7-zip off. And delete our jar folder. Now that we've... Uh, I'm sorry about that. Now that we've uh, got that. In our Minecraft folder you can see these are all the Minecraft files from the .jar. And you see this file here, meta imp. We need to get rid of that because it's going to make things mess up basically. So delete that, see ya. Next, go back to your edit folder, 
copy everything out of your edit folder and paste it into your Minecraft folder. Yes to everything. Uh, copy and place, copy and replace for the next 70 conflicts. There we go. And then head on back to your dot Minecraft bin folder, and we should have edit Minecraft, and you've installed all of your edits into your Minecraft. Next, we need to change this Minecraft folder back to a dot jar, so we can actually run Minecraft. So I do this by opening Seven Zip again, and then finding the Minecraft folder, selecting everything inside it, and then add. And I change that to just archive name Minecraft, and you've got to change the archive format to a zip. I just left everything as was, and then press OK. It puts everything into a zip file. So if we go back into our Minecraft and then search mine, you see it comes up Minecraft.zip. What we need to do is copy, paste this back into the bin, delete Minecraft, delete edit, and then we need to rename the Minecraft.zip to a Minecraft.jar. And it should come up with like a, an error message saying if you use this, it might break it. If you change the file name, it might become unusable. So yes, yeah, whatever. Break it, I don't care. So it's now changed to a dot jar. You see the symbols changed. No, sorry, you see the symbols changed as well. We open up our Minecraft again. Now hopefully Minecraft should start up. Let's log in. Mojang symbol. And there we go. Minecraft seems to be working all right cross minecraft off again go back into our dot minecraft and you see we've got a new folder called mods here is where we're going to install all our mods so you need to go back on the industrial craft wiki uh, I've spelled it wrong whoops industrial craft wiki uh, click on download now again and you need to get download IC2 for minecraft 1.1 the client not the server not the API just the client you need to do the same for equivalent exchange. This is the equivalent exchange here. You need to get the equivalent exchange to version 1.38 for Forge API. That one there. And you also need to do the same for Buildcraft. So this is the Buildcraft website. It's www.mod-buildcraft.com. Go on download Buildcraft for Minecraft 1.1. I need to get all these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So basically, these are the this this is um, I'm just going to show you with um, just the the beginning mods at first, and then at the end of this video, I'm going to explain what other mods I've got. So with all Buildcraft, well, basically, yeah, with all Buildcraft, there's five of them. So one, two, three, four, five. Put all them in. Uh, equivalent Exchange. You need to open Equivalent Exchange. Go into the mods of Equivalent Exchange and use that zip file instead. And also, Industrial Crafts in a it's in a jar file, but it should still work. And just place that in there. Uh, I think this should work. I'm not sure. I don't think I'll get any errors. If I do, I'll try and sort them out as we go. So open up Minecraft again. Log in. And there we go. It seems to be working. Now they're just base. They're just base. They're the baseline mods. On top of those mods, I've also got um, like additional pipes and logistic pipes and crafting guide. And I'll show you how, how to put all them on now. So if we go back into our mods file and where I've got all my downloads, if you want to do these, I've got also raised minimap one po uh, for one point one. Install that. Uh, I've also got additional pipes. Like, as soon as you put additional pipes in with equivalent exchange, you're going to get an error message, which I'll show you in a second. And hopefully, we should be able to fix this error message by changing something in the additional pipes, or changing the block ID in the additional pipes config file, which I'll show you how to do. So, uh, put additional pipes in. All of these mods can be found on the internet. If you just pause the video now and check out what, um, what version numbers they all are, you could do that. Just install additional pipes. Inventory tweaks if you're ever so fond of them, which I am. Logistic pipes as well. I think they're on the Buildcraft website. Yep, they're pretty nice. Pretty nice mod. You also want all of. Re I also want all of Red Power. So I think there's like five or six. I'm not sure. All of Red Power. You can just find Red Power on Google. There's seven. And um, also we want tree. Well, I want tree capacitor and wireless redstone. So I'd take them two and pop them both in there as well 
So now we've got all those mods installed. Now we load up Minecraft.exe and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, we'll get an error message that we can fix in a second. Load it up, loading Mojang. Come on, give me an error message. Right, here we go, we've got an error message. It says something like slot 179 is already occupied by equivalent exchange block device. Uh, when adding buildcraft, uh, buildcraft uh, it's chunk loader, that's um, in additional pipes, I think. So what we need to do is close Minecraft, go back into our dot Minecraft folder, which is here. Go in buildcraft, this is a new file you should have, buildcraft. Configs, open up additional pipes and change that ID there, the chunk loader ID 179 to 213 and hopefully that ID there shouldn't conflict with any other IDs that we've got installed. We cross that and then save, uh, minimize that and open your .exe Minecraft again. Hopefully now, now that we've changed that slot ID, it should, hopefully should, work. There we go, and that's that. So you've got everything you've got everything installed that I've got. So thank you for watching this tutorial, and don't forget to pop in and see me on um, www.twitch.tv forward slash never. I'll uh, also put a link on this video. And thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you pop in and talk to me sometime. If you're having some troubles, I'll try and help you. If you uh, leave a comment, I'll try and get back to you. Thanks, guys. See ya.